afraid not. I kinda forgot to uh, record the cutscene because I couldn't save during it and all that crap, so yeah, sorry about that. Hey, here is your fellow Grey Warden. You worry too much, young man. You. You're alive. Huh. I thought you were dead for sure. Duncan's dead. The Grey Wardens. Even the King. They're all dead. Oh, this doesn't seem real. If it weren't for Morrigan's mother, we'd be dead on top of that tower. Do not talk about me as if I am not present, lad. I, I didn't mean... But, but what do we call you? You've, ne you've never told us your name. Names are pretty, but useless. The chastened folk call me Flemeth. I suppose it will do. The Flemeth? From the legends? Dabeth was right. You're the witch of the wilds, aren't you? Then what does that mean? I know a bit of magic, and it has served you both well, has it not? Well, we cannot have all the Grey Wardens dying at once, can we? Someone has to deal with these dark spawn. It has always been the Grey Wardens' duty to unite the lands against the Blight. Or did that change when I wasn't looking? Of course. Someone else will realize what needs to be done and act in time and with sufficient sense to solve the problem. No need for you. But we were fighting the Dark Spawn. The King had nearly defeated them. Why would Loghain do this? Now that is a good question. Men's hearts hold shadows darker than any painted creature. Perhaps he believes the Blight is an army he can outmaneuver. Perhaps he does not see that the evil behind it is the true threat. The Archdemon. All Grey Wardens in Ferelden are gone. Except for us. I've lost everyone. For the love of the Maker, don't back out on me now. Then we have to do something. I won't let their death be in vain. But I can't do anything on my own. The throne? He's the Queen's father. Still, I can't see how he'll get away with murder. You speak as if he would be the first king to gain his throne that way. Grow up, boy. If Al Eamon knew what he did, he would never stand for it. The Landsmeet would never stand for it. There would be civil war. I suppose. <laughs> Al Eamon wasn't at Osvagar. He still has all his men. And he was Caelan's uncle. I know him. He's a good man, respected in the Landsmeet. Of course, we could go to Redcliffe and appeal to him for help. Of course, the treaties. Grey Wardens can demand aid from dwarves, elves, mages, and other places. They're obligated to help us during a blight. I may be old, but dwarves, elves, mages, this are even, and who knows what else. This sounds like an army to me. So can we do this? Go to Redcliffe and these other places and build an army? If there is better motivation for doing what is right, I have yet to see it. It's always been the Grey Warden's duty to stand against the Blight. And right now, we're the Grey Wardens. So you are set then, ready to be Grey Wardens. Hmm, come to think of it, that would be nice. Well, don't expect me to do everything. There is, however, one more thing I can offer you. The stew is bubbling, Mother dear. Shall we have two guests for the eve? Or none? The Grey Wardens are leaving shortly, girl. And you will be joining them. Such a shame. What? You heard me, girl. The last time I looked, you had ears. <laughs> Her magic will be useful. Even better, she knows the wilds and how to get past the horde. Have I no say in this? You have been itching to get out of the wilds for years. 
here is your chance. As for you, Warden, consider this repayment for your lives. Pardon me, but I have the impression that you two needed assistance, whatever the form. Not to look a gift horse in the mouth, but won't this add to our problems? Out of the wild, she's an apostate. If you do not wish help from us illegal mages, young man, perhaps I should have left you on that tower. Point taken. Mother, this is not how I wanted this. I'm not even ready. You must be ready. Alone, these two must unite for Eldon against the Dark Spawn. They need you, Morgan. Without you, they will surely fail, and all will perish under the blight. Even I. I understand. And you, Warden. Do you understand? I give you that which I value above all in this world. I do this because you must succeed. Allow me to get my things, if you please. I am at your disposal, Grey Warden. I suggest a village north of the wilds as our first destination. It is not far, and you will find much you need there. Or, if you prefer, I shall simply be your silent guide. The choice is yours. Farewell, Mother. Do not forget the stew on the fire. I would hate to return to a burned-down hut. Oh, it is far more likely you will return to see this entire area, along with my hut, swallowed up by the blight. I... All I meant was... Yes, I know. Do try to have fun, dear. And I expect each of you to supply these men. We must rebuild what was lost at Ostagar, and quickly. There are those who would take advantage of our weakened state if we let them. We must defeat this darkspawn incursion, but we must do so sensibly and without hesitation. Your Lordship, if I might speak. You have declared yourself Queen Honora's regent and claim we must unite under your banner for our own good. But what of the army lost at Ostagar? Your withdrawal was most fortuitous. Everything I have done has been to secure Ferelden's independence. I have not shirked my duty to the throne, and neither will any of you! 
the Fanon will not bow to you simply because you demand it. Understand this. I will put no threat to this nation from you or anyone. Please! Your Majesty, your father risked civil war. If Eamon were here... Antigen, my father is doing what is best. Did he also do what was best for your husband, your Majesty? Gentlemen, more travelers to attend to. I guess that fellow is the leader. Uh, they don't look much like their mothers, you know. Uh, maybe we should just let these ones pass. Nonsense. Greetings, travelers. Highwaymen, preying on those fleeing the dark spawn, I suppose. They are fools to get in our way. I say, teach them a lesson. Now, is that any way to greet someone? A simple ten silvers, and you're free to move on. What could I tell you? No wagons, and this one looks armed. The toll applies to everyone, Henrik. That's why it's a toll, and not, say, a refugee tax. Oh, right. Even if you're no refugee, you still got to pay. Pleased to hear that. We have rules, you know. Right. We get to ransack your corpse, then. Those are the rules. Did he say he's a Grey Warden? Them ones killed the king. Traitors to Ferelden, I hear. Turn Logan put quite a bounty on any who are found. But aren't them Grey Wardens good? I mean, really good. Good enough to kill a king. Do you have a point? Forget about the toll. We'll just leave you to your dark spawn fighting, king killing ways. You don't say. He's really good, boss. Remember. Well, yes. Twenty silvers? That's all we've collected today. And just when we had things settled, we will need to fight your. <laughs> collected are right here. Just over a hundred silver. The rest is in the chest we brought. I swear. There aren't any. Just the Templars, and, and they'll execute me. I'm not... Very well. Yes. Of course. As you say. Down you go. There it is. Smoldering. Pretty as a painting. Ah, 
So, you have finally decided to rejoin us, have you? Falling on your blade in grief seems like too much trouble, I take it. Is my being upset so hard to understand? Have you never lost someone important to you? Just what would you do if your mother died? Before or after I stopped laughing. Right, very creepy. Forget I asked. His navel, I suspect. He certainly has been contemplating it for long enough. Oh, I get it. This is the part where we're shocked to discover how you've never had a friend your entire life. I can be friendly when I desire to, and that desiring to be more intelligent does not make it so. Anyway, I thought we should talk about where we intend to go first. He was out scouting in the wilds, wasn't he? That's what the king said. Then attempting to look for him there would be foolish. He was either dead or he managed to flee to the north. Very sensitive. I am simply saying that it is foolish to mount a rescue when you have no notion where this man is and the wilds are overrun with darkspawn. You will either find him somewhere outside the wilds with other survivors or not at all. That's exactly what it means. You wish to do this brother of yours a service? Avenge him. The time to look for survivors will come later. I think what Flemeth suggested is the best idea. These treaties, have you looked at them? There are three main groups that we have treaties for. The Dalish Elves, the Dwarves of Orzammar, and the Circle of Magi. I also still think that Arleman is our best bet for help. We might even want to go to him first. Well, we'll need to decide eventually. Let's head into the village when you're ready. You don't look like the other folk fleeing the south. Were you in the battle? You don't look chastened, so you're not from the wilds. And you're not a farmer. I'd guess you saw some fighting. I thought them that survived already marched north with the Tairn. You must be a survivor, or a deserter. Lucky you, I guess. Don't let me stop you. You there. If you're looking for safe shelter, I'll warn you. There's none to be found. Oh, look how they moan and wail and gnash their teeth. It is sad to watch how helplessly they scurry about. Back off! I have the right to charge what I wish. You profit from their misfortune. I should have the Templars give away everything in your car. You wouldn't dare. Any of you step too close to my goods and I'll... It's so nice to see everyone working together in a crisis. Warms the heart. Oh, you there. You look able. Would you care to make a tiny profit helping a beleaguered businessman? Didn't I mention profit? He is charging outlandish prices. The things people desperately need. Their blood is filling his pockets. His only survival of the fittest. All of these Cretans would do the same in his shoes, given the chance. I have limited supplies. The people decide what those supplies are worth to them. You bought most of your wares from these very people last week. Now they flee for their lives, and you want to talk business? Look, stranger, I have a hundred silvers if you drive this rabble off, starting with that priest. I'm an honest merchant, nothing more. You want me to bid against him? We don't have that kind of coin. We have nothing to offer but our gratitude. You would actually do the bidding of this evil little man. Fine. Your heartlessness bring you exactly what you deserve. 
A fine sentiment, if I've ever heard one. You're so nice. I bet you make allies everywhere you go. Ha! <laughs> Serves that wench right. You have my thanks. And 100 silvers, yes? Right. Fair enough. But only you. This way. And beware the urchins. They have grabby little hands. And I lean spoke unto the masses, my heart is yours, my bread is yours, my life is yours. For all who walk in the sight of the Maker are one. Blessed are the peacekeepers, champions of the just. yesterday, but he didn't come back. Why not? Why would she leave me here? But, no, she can't be dead. I'll find her. So let's talk about your mother for a moment. To talk about your mother? Well, there's nothing to talk about. And besides, isn't your mother a scary witch who lives in the middle of the forest? Much more interesting. To you, perhaps, you would find the mop. Now dare you accuse me of thievery. I saw you take the supplies from my car. Sure. you any more than I have the other humans. Leave me in peace. A prisoner. I'm in a cage, am I not? 
I have been placed here by the Chantry. I am Sten of the Beresad, the vanguard of the Kunari peoples. I have been convicted of murder. Have the villagers not spoken of this? Are you asking if I feel guilt or if I am responsible for the deed? However I feel, whatever I've done, my life is forfeit now. Death will be my atonement. Perhaps. What does your wisdom say is equal to my crime? The blight. Are you a grey warden then? Surprising. People have heard legends of the Grey Warden's strength and skill. Now I suppose not every legend is true. Perhaps if you told her the Grey Wardens need my assistance, it seems as likely to bring my death as waiting here. Farewell, then. A penitent man left to be torn to pieces by Darkspawn. Tis a fine example of the Chantry's mercy, is it not?
mighty timely arrival there, my friend. I'm much obliged. You want a reward, eh? I suppose that's an entirely reasonable request. How does a hundred silver sound? I was going to use that to fix up the car, but uh, quite frankly, I'll be grateful enough that my son and I come out of this with our heads. Good. One good turn deserves another. That's what the missus always claims. The name's Bodon Fedick, merchant and entrepreneur. This here is my son, Sandal. Say hello, my boy. Hello. Road's been mighty dangerous these days. Mind if I ask what brings you out here? Perhaps we're going the same way. Complicated? <laughs> Somehow I imagine that only says a half of it. Thank you for the offer. But there may be more excitement on your part than is good for my boy and me. Allow me to bid you farewell and good fortune. Goodbye. Now then, let's get this mess cleaned up, shall we?
Well, look what we have here, then. I think we've just been blessed. Uh-oh. Low gains, men. This can't be good. Didn't we spend all morning asking about a fellow by this very description? And everyone said they hadn't seen him. It seems we were lied to. Gentlemen, surely there's no need for trouble. These are no doubt to be more poor souls seeking refuge. They're more than that. Now stay out of our way, sister. You protect these traitors, you'll get the same as them. Right. Let's make this quick. Yes. Are you truly such a fool? <laughs> for interfering, but I couldn't just sit by and not help. Save my life. I assure you, I can handle myself. <laughs> I wasn't born in the country, you know. Many of us had more colorful lives before we joined. Let me introduce myself. I am Liliana. One of the lay sisters of the Chantry here in Lavering. Oh, I was. Those men said you are a Grey Warden. You will be battling the Darkspawn, yes? Yeah? That is what Grey Wardens do. I know after what happened, you will need all the help you can get. That's why I'm coming along. The Mesa told me to. Then you believe me. I knew the Maker had said a true dream. The vision that by serving you, I serve his holy plan. Perhaps your skull was cracked worse than mother thought. Thank you. I appreciate being given this chance. I will not let you down. about to take it up with that blade run by the chantry. I've got other gear to sell. <laughs> 